Hi everyone, today's video I'll be showing you the Chatoyant Magnetic Pigments from Social Claws. I have them on my manicure here. Uh, let me get the direct lighting on here so you can see. The, we have the um, Moon Glow Magnetic. And on this hand, I have the Polarity Cat Eye. These are gorgeous uh, pigments, interference pigments, so um, they do have a little bit of, uh, for instance, uh, magnetism looks yellow in the pot, but uh, on the nail it looks pink. And uh, the blue has a little bit of a purple shift uh, to it as well. So you get four pigments in your kit. You get the red, which is attraction. You get magnetism, which has a yellow-pink um, color shift to it. You get moon glow, which has a blue kind of light purple shift. And you get polarity, which is your silver. Now this one, um, I don't really see that much of a, of a shift to it. Um, it does have a beautiful, almost kind of like mink uh, color shade to it when you do on the nail. I don't know if you can see it past right here. It has it's very nice looking on the nail actually. Uh, that's polarity. Your kit also includes a pen magnet for making lines and small circles and dots and things. You get a bar magnet. This is what it produces the uh, chatoyant line, uh, the cat eye line. She also includes these two fun little, if I can pick them up here, they're super magnets. She provides two of them, very strong, and you can uh, create uh, different uh, designs with these, and I'll show you a few near the end of the video. You also get two applicators, uh, two sponge tip, and uh, on the end of each one you get your brush. The brush is what we'll be using uh, for this demo. And it does, again, your typical cat eye effect with that bar magnet. And you can use, uh, I used actually for this particular one, I actually used one of my nail stands, my uh, magnetic nail stands that I got from China. The magnets on these are quite strong and for the, this one I simply used the base to, I painted on uh, the pigment in the top coat and then I pushed with this without actually touching the nail of course I use the magnet to actually push the particles up towards the tip to give it an ombre uh, look so lots of lots and lots of possibilities here uh, if you have your own magnets it's, it'll be fun to experiment with those and uh, for this demo, I'm not going to do different color. I just don't have time in the video for that. I'm going to do all of these uh, because these are over black. I will be demoing these over black. I think that they look better over black because um, the highlight uh, is, is lighter. And if you start putting these over lighter colors, you're not going to get that dramatic effect. Now, that's not to say that they won't look good. You can certainly try these over. Uh, lighter colors uh, it just won't it'll be more subtle if you do so uh, for the purposes of this demo to show you at their best I'm going to go ahead and uh, show them over uh, black and we'll get our samples together here and I'll show you how to mix them and we'll um, get started with the demo in just a moment all right, so to mix your your um, pigments, you're not going to need that much. If, if you're only gonna use it on one nail, you will only need approximately about that much pigment. It is not much at all. And it's a one for one in your uh, top coat. So you would mix, mix about that much pigment with one drop of your favorite top coat uh, I played with a few and I found that um, the one I liked the most, the one that had the most ease of, of use and kind of slipperiness to me, 
um, but still not too much slippery uh, slipperiness was uh, the perfect match from um, Le Chat Le Chat um, I should say it the, the right way because we're working with Chateauien which is the same pronunciation um, so the high gloss top gel uh, sealer is what wor uh, worked best for me so one for one uh, as far as your mixture of your pigment. Any more pigment um, and you're not going to get uh, the, the particles to really move around as they should. Uh, the magnet won't get that pull that it needs. Uh, and also you run the risk, especially with the darker colors, of it not curing all the way through if you use too much pigment. So be aware of that. It's a one-for-one one mixture, and I've already mixed up some of the, I'm going to show you polarity. I've already mixed up some here in my palette. Um, I'm going to keep that off camera simply because it tends to dim the, um, the um, exposure here. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Again, we're showing polarity. On my swatch stick, I do have, again, one coat of black. Uh, which is the, again, the Le Chat, uh, uh Black Velvet. I've removed the sticky layer with some alcohol, and I'm using the brush that came with uh, the kit. I'm going to pick up, you're simply going to, once you mix it up, you're just going to pick it up on your brush, just like that. And then you're going to paint it onto the nail. Get a nice even coat. And I'll apologize ahead of time for the little fuzzies in here. I've played so much with these brushes and the pigments that I've got a few leftover little pieces of lint and things like that in there. So the first thing I want to show you is what creates the cat eye effect. This is the bar magnet. You're going to simply place it, once you get your pigment on the nail, you're simply going to place it very close but not touching. You don't want it touching right over the nail. Give it a couple of seconds. And there you have your cat eye effect. If you like this effect, you're done. You don't want to do anything more. It is always best to go in and immediately cure this because if you let this sit, the magnetic particles are going to start to settle again. They're going to start to spread out. You're going to get that line is going to start blurring. And you're not going to have that sharp cat eye effect. So. Um, if you so you don't do what I just did there don't touch the polish because that's what it looks like when you do if that happens no worries this is gel so you will simply go in and repaint just rebrush Come in and apply the magnet once again. Now the higher up that you go, the less of a defined line that you're going to get. The lower uh, that you get, the more it's going to pull that line up to the center and give you that nice glowy cat eye effect. Now I'm going to show you what some of the other magnets do here. The um, pin magnet that she provides, while it's not as strong as the super magnet, those little tiny super magnets, or the bar magnet, it's still fun to play around with. You can do more of a precise placement of um, this one uh, basically is uh, it pushes the, the particles so it basically will leave little small spots where there are no particles so you can come in and you can push those into 
any design that you like down the nail. And there you have, you can do like a snake skin or a honeycomb look. Uh, with the pen magnet. Again, cure as soon as you finish with your design. Otherwise, they will start to settle. All right, we're going to show you what the super magnet will do. Now, for the super magnet, um, I'll show you one fun thing that I did. Now, it won't be practical for those of you with short nails, but I take the pen magnet and I pick up the uh, super magnets and you don't have to use both of them here but this is I just picked up both my, my mistake here I come in and you place it over the top and you get more of a large affected area uh, as far as uh, and then if you you can place it on the side as well and get an cool kind of line effect as well a mini line effect again and you can get a cool larger effect than what we showed over with the pen by itself so these are the super magnets that uh, Angela supplies in the kit going to wipe that off my fingers here. I'll show you another look here. We're going to brush over this again. And I can't find my other magnet. Let me find that and we'll be right back. Okay, I found my other magnet. Now, the bar magnet that she provides you is in this cool handy little holder. Well, I had another one from another from a gel polish maker uh, that I had um, I wanted to take the magnet out of the housing and <clears throat> I made the mistake of asking my aircraft mechanic boyfriend to do it for me. And this is the result. He basically <laughs> shattered the magnet trying to get it out of the housing somehow I think I probably could have done it a, a better job but this is the result of it so this bar magnet in here is what this looks like what it's and you can see it just very strong they're attracted to each other there um, so I wanted to use it to create an ombre. You can create an ombre with this by using it to push those particles towards either the tip or the cuticle, whichever you know you, you want. Um, if I can get this to work, I got it to work on the other one. I don't know why it's working, not, not now. Let's see if I can do it this way. I don't know if you can see that, how placing it on the side is actually moving those particles up. So if you move it from side to side like this and move it up, you can create all sorts of different designs uh, this way. But if you're careful with it, you can create uh, an ombre effect. I'm not getting it here because I had to work it out, but again, this is gel, so you simply have to rebrush it and then come in and redo your magnet. So let me try that one more time. Let's try something else here. We're going to put it on its side, and these are pretty strong, so it, it tends to push those. I don't know if you can see how that's moving that around. And then I'm just going to again move it from side to side 
and then lift up as you go up and it'll help feather out that color so uh, you're not left with a very strong line and you, you've basically pushed up just kind of use it to push up like that and you're left with an ombre design come back in and rebrush it and again using seems the side of it works the best you can come in and create some different looks here some random patterning pattern patterning So any way you like it, the closer that you get, the more pronounced that line is going to get, as you can see there, and kind of pushing, pushing those up there. You can create a curve with this. So many possibilities with your magnets. I'm not being the neatest here, just to, in the interest of time. Uh, another way, again, now this uh, this is not going to be practical. This idea here for people with short nails, because I'm working on the underside of the uh, swatch. But I take my um, pen tool with my two super magnets, and I pick them up uh, this way. I take my swatch and I'm going to put the magnets underneath the swatch and then you can see the dramatic effect that those have so again you can have some fun with it on your swatch or if you have more of a you would like I do here you can place your magnet underneath and get that effect near the tip of your nail if you have longer nails. So that is kind of the cool effect that you can get with these super magnets uh, from underneath. Real cool. So those are just some of the ideas uh, that you can do. Uh, let me show you a couple of others. Um, I did the red one here and gave it that honeycomb effect that I showed you. These are cured and top coated. Um, here's that silver one, very similar effect. Uh, this one I did the polarity and moon glow. For this one, I did this in three stages. I painted a uh, this part right here with the pigment, did the magnet, cured it, came in and did this side of it, same thing, cured it, and then in the center painted that thin line in the center with the moon glow, put the bar magnet over to give that cat eye effect, and there you go. You could also make gems with this for your classic cat eye gem look. Uh, this is what I did on this one. All I did was I painted, uh, again started with a black base coat, painted the red in an oval, did the bar magnet over the top, cured it, and then over the top I just did a little bit of builder gel to give it a little bit of a, a, a cabochon look, and then the gold um, jewel effect around the um, metal effect around the edge, and there you have your gem. So really, again, the possibilities are endless. You can also mix colors um, uh, for the pigments. I know these look close, but uh, oh, that's only because one of the base colors is the same. For this one, I did uh, the red and the blue, Moon Glow and Attraction. 
And for this one, I did the blue and that pink yellow interference um, magnetism uh, to give you a different look there. So again, so many options with them. Uh, and you can use whatever magnets that you have. Again, I have these little magnetic nail stands that I got from China, and these have pretty strong magnets. You can use them to different effects as well. Uh, the base part of it acted like uh, that barb magnet where you could push. This one pushes and this one pulls. So uh, you can use these for all sorts of different effects. So whatever magnets that you have at home, certainly play around with them. You can also play with the uh, bucky balls, which are magnetic. Uh, you can play with these, form any shapes that you like, but um, you apply this over the uh, and it, this kind of gives it sort of like a, a snakeskin effect if you, um, let me see if I can get that in this one real quick here. Might not work because I don't have them lined up, but you kind of, I kind of lined them up into a, um, into like a rectangle. Let's see if this will work. You have to get it really, really close. I did notice that that's what you had to do with these. And so you can get some wild effects with the buckyballs. And you can just take these, move them along the sides, and get a full coverage effect along the sides. So lots of fun ways that you can use these pigments and mix them into different color combinations. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions for me, go ahead and leave them down at the bottom. Of course, I'll leave links to all the products that I used as well. If you have, um, Again, I want to thank everybody for your support, your kind comments and everything on my blog as well as uh, on uh, YouTube. And until next time, I will see you guys later.